famous with a chair, right? And, yep, and uh, Andy beat up, or he gave, or he gave uh, Gabriel the RKO. Right, right, yeah. right. Okay. We so, have uh, David Otunga and Skip Sheffield. They beat up uh, John Morrison and all truth So basically, the Nexus guys, the females, the Nexus guys, keep on winning. Everybody thinks at the beginning of the show, oh shit, all the WWE guys are going to beat the Nexus guys, and this is the end of Nexus. Mm -hmm. And in reality, as the show went on, that's the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. They made Sheffield look strong there, too, so that was, that was the only other match that was uh, clean. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, right. That was, that was really quick, too. Yeah, we had your Divas match, right? Well, going into it, I thought uh, Otunga and Sheffield, I thought they were going to lose, man. I thought that was going to be the dead weight of the uh, team. Not necessarily Skip Sheffield, because like I said, man, that guy... Um, Oh no, Skip Sheffield. Which that's that's the Austin one, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. He, who's, yeah. who's the Wendy? He's Slater. Wendy is Slater. Slater. Yeah, he okay, took an yeah. edge. Yeah, Skip Sheffield. Um, I'm a fan of his, like I said earlier. But David Otunga, I mean, so much. just doesn't happen. <laughs> so I figured they were on a tag team. They're gonna lose the match. You know what I mean? Whatever. Mm -hmm. Didn't happen. Then we had a Divas match. Whatever. It was the Divas. We yeah, had a uh, backstage segment. It was Edge and Heath Slater, and they did the Wendy joke again, and blah, 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 crowd chanted Wendy. Then we had uh, Heath Slater. He beat Edge. This was uh, a count, count out, right? That was such a crock of shit again. You know, Edge just standing there waiting for the uh, spear, and then when he's going for it, you know, Heath Slater pops in the ring and the count out. <laughs> right, and then we had a main event. It was John Cena defeated Darren Young, the only Nexus guy. Um, God, it appeared the... I mean, he's gone. He's done. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if he's headed back to developmental for more work. Whether he's going to be back next week or or what. Actually, he's not there next week. He did. He beat the shit out of um, Cena most of the match too, and then just at the very end ended up losing. That was you know, and they they put him in the main event too. And if you were getting ready to send a guy packing, why would you put him in the main event against a guy like John Cena? You know what I mean? No, I agree with you 100%. It just seemed like the angle when it was over, the uh, Nexus guys came in the ring and uh, beat the shit out of him. basically let Cena leave and yeah, beat the shit out of him and, and that I, was... I was waiting for Cena to come and try to rescue the day or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, right, right, or, or something, I mean, people were talking about a John Cena heel turn, that's not going to happen, obviously. No way. That has to do, I mean, that has a lot to do with kids, merchandise, and advertising, things yeah, like that. Yeah, that, that, like we said a couple weeks ago, that'd be so risky if they did turn them. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, no, 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 they okay. won't do that. <laughs> no way. No so way. So that was pretty much raw, though. Yeah, they won't, uh, they will not turn him heel, and Triple H, like I said, is going to be back in the fall, and, uh, yeah, that was raw, like I said, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, really. Somebody just said, time for a weed break. <laughs> time for a weed break, Clark. Tell no weed. Oh. Let's smoke pot during the show, you cocksuckers. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, get to our, uh, our live chat room, www.wzronline.com slash chat. wzronline.com slash chat. We're going to become... Yeah, we're going to be coming back for hour number two. We're talking uh, the sad passing of Lance Cade, Lance McNaught from last Friday. We're going to talk about that. Um, the Tiffany, Drew McIntyre deal at the hotel from last week. We're going to talk about that. And some payment. Paul Heyman comes from uh, today. I'm head of the refrigerator. The beer. You I'm guys, this there, dude. You guys, popcorn. Hey, we'll come back. I want to take a quick break. Be back here in about five minutes. Listening to BZ Radio with this horror. It's been Ron Clark. And that's my man. We'll be back right after this. And we're back. WZR Radio here on WZROnline.com. I'm Ryan Clark. He's Chris Hall. And we're going to be here for the next one hour. Talking pro wrestling. Taking live phone calls. Got the live chat on and popping. WZROnline.com slash chat. Hopefully the audio is fixed. I know we were having a uh, little bit of errors. A little bit of issues before we went to the break. But nonetheless, I think we got that worked out. And we are back. Yes, we are. We got everything going on, dude, so call in. <laughs> Lots of stuff going on. Before we uh, move on, I want to, uh, my, the producer of this show, Rob, I know he doesn't like when I mention his name, but so be it. He uh, opened up a, a new website that I want you guys to go check out, bookmark it. It's got a shout box. It's got all that cool stuff. Um, oh, the show. It's the whole effing show, guys. So go <laughs> check it out. It is www. Oh, shit. WWW. Not oh shit. <laughs> WWW. TV Sports News. Net. W. Did I get that right? Yeah, is that with a Z or an S? It's with an S. It's with okay. an S. Okay, so WWW. TV 
www.tvsportsnews.net. www.tvsportsnews.net. Somebody can link that in the chat real quick. There you go. Right. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Go check that out, guys. That's my boy's website, producer of WZR Radio. He hooks it up. Real good guy. Hooks it up on a weekly basis. He's the one that brings us live to you guys every Tuesday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Time. So the least you can do is go check out his website, www.tvsportsnews.net. Good there, Daddy. Good there, Daddy. <laughs> uh, that never gets old. So that is that. Appreciate Rob for uh, hooking us up on a weekly basis, putting us live, baby, live, live, baby, live. <laughs> on the air on a weekly uh, basis, my man. So, wait, what did you get to first? That's oh, right. I was just asking you the same question. I don't know. Damn, the green minds think alike. Uh, I don't know, bro. You want to talk about here? Let's talk about um RVD real fast, man. Uh, we gotta talk about Lance McNaught. We gotta go. Okay, let's talk about him first. Go ahead. Gotta, uh, this is this is not a good one. But um, Lance McNaught, Lance Cade, uh, passed away last Friday night, I believe it was. Uh, his body was found on Saturday morning. Um, he was 29 years old. Mm-hmm. And his uh, fa- I think is what his dad found him, right? His father found him. Basically, the deal is here on Tuesday night. Tuesday night of last week, his wife, Tracy, um, basically, he was having trouble breathing at home and didn't look to be in very good shape and they rushed him to the hospital he was kept overnight on tuesday into wednesday and when wednesday came around he told hospital officials that he was good he felt better and they released him Mm -hmm. um he went home was there for a little bit left and never came back showed up for work, continued to show up for work. On Thursday, his father said that he came into work, and I'm guessing that they work together, together or yeah. the same place, some sort of thing, and his father said that he didn't look good. Mm-hmm. Um, so, the deal... Uh, are we, I mean, I guess you could kind of speculate what he went to do, you know, that between that night that he got home from the hospital. But here's, here's the deal. When you, when you have a drug issue, okay, I know somebody, I know somebody that, that used to have a drug issue, and God damn, it was, to help him through was some of the most painful shit. The deal is, when, when people become addicted to drugs... You take your drugs one day, and the next day you wake up, you need your fix. You need your drugs again. Or you're going to get sick. You're not going to be able to move. You're going to puke. You're going to get diarrhea. You're just going to be a mess. Okay? And, and when you're off, it also that leads to heart problems, too. And when you're off, it can also lead to heart problems mm-hmm. down the line. Um, it is interesting that he was in the hospital on Tuesday night and didn't want to go. Didn't want to go, and then as soon as Wednesday came around, insisted that they let him out of the hospital, and then was never to be seen again. And the reports that he showed up to work and just wasn't in good shape. His wife Tracy said he wasn't in good shape. It seems to, and this is God. I hate this. Fa- I hate to do this. Okay, I, I, I hate it. I hate, and I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't. But it seems like a case. If he went to the hospital on Tuesday night, Wednesday, he needed to get his fix. Went out, got his fix, got fucked up. It was probably a few days. It was probably a binge over the course of a few days, drugs, whatever else, and it claimed his life on Friday. Man, isn't that so hard to say? Though? I mean, like we, we sit here and we talk about a lot of these guys that have passed away or in bad shape, and you know, like with Scott Hall too. You know, like we trying to say, you know, they'd be giving a report, but then you know, we can really speculate on what really happened. You know, it just sucks. You just gotta wait for the autopsy. Um, and and the it's it won't be back for for six to eight weeks, but it's just a matter of there was an incident. Um, was I? Ah, time flies these days, but uh, a year or two ago, maybe three years ago, there was an incident on an airplane um, where he suffered a seizure, and it was related to drugs, and he was fired from WWE over it. Jim Ross came out, and, uh, you know... He took too many pills, didn't he, on the plane? 
I think it was cocaine. Was it cocaine? Okay. I think it was cocaine. Um, but nonetheless, he suffered a seizure on the plane, and Jim Ross came out and public, publicly, in his blog, basically laughed at him. And somebody in the chat room, Jared Cass, said he was foaming at the mouth, and, and that's true. Um, basically, on an airplane, he was foaming at the mouth and suffered a seizure, and people thought that he was he was going to die. And yeah. sure enough. You know, and, and, and people say, you know, is, is it a drug overdose? Well, past issues are past issues, and a lot of times you can't get over stuff like that. Oh, no, I mean, look at Scott Hall. He's been fighting that for years, you know what I'm saying? So. And the fact that the fact that his own wife and his own father, uh, Tracy and Harley, uh, his father, um, just basically said that last week, all of last week, he was not in good shape. I mean, he looked a mess, and... Well, you, you can only speculate, man, that, that he wanted to get out of the hospital on Wednesday, wanted to get that fix, and then just went on a binge and it caught up with him on Friday. You know, it's just, it's just sad because you know, I mean, when he first came in, he was well, he was one of Shawn Michaels' first, you know, students, and you know, came in with a lot of promise, and he just, you know, had an addiction he couldn't get past that kind of fucked up his career. A lot of people, man, a lot of people have addictions. Some people can hide them, some people can't. It's just a, a really, really, really. You know, situation. and the thing that's really interesting to me is, you know, there's a lot of dispute on what happened after that airplane incident with WWE, you know, did they just fire him and not help him through it, or, you know, did well, they send him? And well, here's the thing, you, WWE can't send anybody, okay, they, you have to want, you have to want it. Yeah, oh yeah. Right, you can't, you can't force somebody into rehab, and, and WWE, they wanted him to go to, it's the same thing with Carlito. Oh, he wouldn't. Go. Oh, I didn't know that he wouldn't go. I thought he was saying that he wanted help. I, I, I don't know. No, I don't. No, 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 no. If he wanted help, if he wanted help from WWE, I don't, I don't care who it is. Scott Hall. <laughs> he was blasted Vince McMahon in the past few months. Scott Hall has blasted Vince McMahon, and he's a current TNA employee, and he's in rehab right now. The WWE's paying for it, so I, I don't care if Ultimate Warrior, who they hate, or Macho Man Randy Savage needed rehab. Vince would pay, I mean, come on, you know, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, they're going to help out anybody who they can, but they can't force anybody, somebody that doesn't want to go to rehab can't be forced into rehab, mm -hmm. and that's, Carlito was fired, Carlito didn't want to go to rehab, you're going to lose your job, same thing with Lance Cave, you know, you, we got to, we got to cut you, and, you know, and, and that's just, I don't know, it's just, a, it's a, I mean, he's only 29 years old, it's, it's just, terrible. Uh, it's really it's just he's Lance. Yeah, no doubt. Lance McNaught, Lance K. Dead any, at 30, 29. Um, any uh, funeral news? No funeral news yet. I don't know if it's going to be open to the public. I'm sure that somebody on his behalf um, will send out something here um, so we can put something on the website. Somebody from his, his management team or one of his agents, somebody... If he had one, uh, somebody will send something out with uh, funeral information. We'll put that on the website as soon as we get that. Sounds All right. Sounds like a plan, buddy. Hard to move on from something like that. Yeah.